Program Description Presenting a live sound narrated day hike with a progress map and interspersed photos. This program takes you on the middle leg of a three-day hike in New York's western Adirondack Pigeon Lake Wilderness Area on October 14, 2020. We begin at Queer Lake Lean 2 campsite and finish about four miles away at Cascade Falls. Aside from this introduction, the hike is presented as it happened with no additional voiceover. Project Mission. This audio recording is an offshoot of my nature soundscape projects, which document and create awareness of our vanishing quiet spaces from the encroaching engines of progress. This recording brings a wilderness hike to those who cannot be there in person, but would like to get close to the experience. And for those that can, I want to inspire you to take to the trails, whether for a short hike on an accessible path or something beyond. I hope that participation creates more opportunities for nature conservation and enhances our quality of life. So I invite you to put on some headphones, set a comfortable volume, and join me, my son Leo, and our dog Sunshine on this beautiful day. Bob Marino, February 2021. Right, you can grab that. Okay, so we're off to Cascade. <coughs> Almost, just adjusting my pack. Okay, it's October 14th. Leo and I and Sunshine are on our way from Queer Lake, Lean To site on a little red spur trail down to uh, the junction to get to Cascade Lake. And there's a waterfall, Cascade Falls maybe. Seems like it's about three miles or maybe four. It's a bright day. I've got my Omni mics. Um, on a stick that I'm holding near my head in front of me. And I'm gonna weave them through some of this brush. And we're keeping an eye out for oyster mushrooms. What would you say, Leo? Is it about 55 degrees today? I think so. Sunny? Not too cold. I mean, not Sunny the dog, not you, Sunny. The day. It's very bright right now. And the colors are lovely. Lots of beech trees. A lot of the maple, they're down about halfway the leaves, so they're scattered on the ground amongst the beach. I haven't heard any birds today, really. And the bugs are all asleep for the winter shut down by the frost. Climbing now. Sunshine at foot. Leo behind me. It's 
looks like wintergreen. What? Mm -mm. No, it's the other one. Partridge berry, right? Yeah. No berries. Yeah. Wintergreens have three leaf groups. Uh. Partridge berries have two with those little dashes on them. Here's a trail marker. Should have this table caught. Can you see if you can free this up at no, all? Not under your armpit? This one. Oh. See if I you can pull you it can. out of the bag a little? Yeah, if I can. I'm not necessarily asking you to open bit. the bag. Does There's it slide bit. out? A little bit. Hard to get it more. I would just not put it under your arm. But... Okay. Now, Constable Pond, West Mountain Trail 2.8. To our left, our right, Chubb Lake, also to our right. And that trail goes along the Queer Lake. We're not taking that one. I'm going to adjust these mics a little bit up just to coincide with the way I'm holding. I have them on a 18 inch stick and a clamp set apart about 90 degrees we're angled out 90. The sun's peeking out from in and out from low clouds. The wind's a little gusty, you might hear it. But not bad. It's not really hitting us down here in the canopy, under the canopy. It's kind of a undulating terrain. Nothing, nothing uh, challenging, really. The mountains that are around us, above us, which you can't really see, are no more than a couple thousand feet. Maybe a 600 foot rise from these small valleys.
There's a giant tree obstacle that we encountered yesterday. I have to go around it. Tree blew down. It's probably two and a half feet across. And many feet long. Now on the yellow trail since that junction that I mentioned. That was my backpack hitting a tree. We've each got about 35 pounds, 40, no more than that. Even Sunshine has a small pack She's carrying her food and her leash and her treats. with some sort of like saddlebags on her. See another marker coming up, sign. telling us where we were and then we can get down to Mays Pond it's a mile the West Mountain Trail 1.3 but we're interested in the sign that's pointing in our direction Queer Lake Landing Chain Pond Trail 0.3 Hermitage Trail 0.6 Windfall Pond 1.6 and Big Moose Road, where we started, 2.5. Picture of Leo. Hi, Leo. Hey. And Sunny, I don't know where she is. Behind you again. And there's Sunshine. And here's me. With these mics. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't mention our our uh, our pond, our lake. What's it called? Where are we going? Oh, uh, Cascade Lake. Cascade. Yes. Good to know where you're going. There'll be a sign at the next junction. I see some beech nuts on the ground now. Mm -hmm. One husk, prickly husk about the size of an acorn brown. 
and cracked open. Inside would be the beech nut, which probably eaten by a squirrel. Now this here tree that we're looking at is a beech tree and it looks like it's got bare scratch marks in it. Fairly certain that, that that's what that would be. I just took a photo of it at uh, 114 p.m. Scratch marks were about five and six inches long. There was just two, and then a single one below it. Really narrow tree. Only about four inches in diameter. I just mentioned that because I've seen them in bigger trees, but never one that small. Just stopped to admire a very, very tall, what looks like a maple tree, but, but there's beaches all around it. It's actually a dead maple tree. So there's beech leaves intertwined in it, but there's actually no small branches on that tree left. Now here's another giant maple that is alive. Come on, now we're going downhill gradually. See a little glimpse of water through the trees down to the left. And that may be that uh, Queer Lake Landing that was mentioned. It was only 0.2 miles on that sign. It should be coming up. Yeah, definitely water through there. Now the area in the Adirondacks for hiking is considered the western region. The Adirondacks are divided up into, I don't know, five or six regions. And uh, the west is one of them. Less traveled. The high peaks draw most of the visitors, hikers. 
And this western area is special to us because it's closer to home and it is very quiet here. We run into very few hikers and lots. I mean, the, if you come on a weekday, you can almost count on your lean-to being vacant. You always bring a tent, as is the only way to come into the Adirondacks. Never expect to get a lean-to. Always be ready to use a tent. Well, I remember going up this last night, Leo, but it was dark and we couldn't see this water down here. Mm, yeah. But it's a pretty, pretty good pitch. Rocky and zigzaggy down through uh, to get probably down near the lake level again. That was the sound of Leo's pine staff that I saved one hike and brought it with us. Okay, and there's a little fork here, just a, a little trail that goes out to the one end of this queer lake. This must be what they call the landing. Maybe there's a campsite up here, I don't know. But there is a small beaver dam. And if we look, look carefully, we might see some sundews or pitcher plants. Do you want to cross here and see if there's a campsite? I suppose we could. Alright, why don't you take the lead and... I just don't want to see a good place to... In that grove of trees. Oh, a good place to cross? Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that... Uh, this rotten piece of wood... Is stable enough. First frog we've actually seen on this trip. There's a few of them in this little boggy area. And I'm examining the bog plants. I don't see any pitcher plants, but there's plenty of moss and other, other vegetation growing in this wet muck that I'm standing in. Lichens. And no, there really isn't anything through here. So we're going to go ahead and turn around. I don't know who this landing is for. So it's not for landing a tent. Let me take the water, holy water route. I'm gonna try to get through here good. Across that same rotten log. And we're back to the back to the trail. And we would be taking a left. Yeah. 
to me. As you can probably tell from our footfalls, the leaves are all damp. They're not shiny with moisture, but they're fairly waterlogged. Except for the ones that have lit on top. Say about 50% of the leaves are down, except for the ash or the uh, beech, which hang on to their leaves more than any other tree. And we're at another junction. Two signs facing away from us. Well, it looks like this first one is the trail that goes, well, it's telling us where we came from. We've gone 0.8 since the lean to. There's another trail through here. Maybe that's the landing. Let's check this out. We'll come right back here. I think it's worth checking out these little spurs if you see, see a beaten path. You may find, find a well-developed primitive campsite, meaning a site, you know, that has some rocks set up for a fire and a flat place to pitch your tent. Yeah, this is it. This is the landing. Not ideal though, it's very low and boggy. This big tree. Mushy, in fact. But a nice picture opportunity. Yeah, and there's a very big white pond, uh, hemlock. Yeah, hemlock. And spruce. I don't know if that's black spruce, hemlock. And uh, sunshine, there you are. Take a picture. A very pretty, pretty scene with the clouds broken up to show medium blue sky and still some fall colors in these trees, but mainly evergreens. Okay, off we go. Move them up. That was my head. Now, we're back at that one sign, and the next sign says Hermitage Trail, Windfall Pond, and Big Moose Road. Ah, and here's our Cascade Lake Trail, two miles to the lake. 
And uh, this is our junction. So we're going to go ahead and go up this trail. We are now on a blue trail, blue markers. Giant white pine is cut. Another one, these are blowdowns that trail maintenance workers have sawed in half and created a notch through. Lots of ferns still in the late stage of their cycle. Still dark green. Very much alive. Brown pine. We're climbing. Oh, we're puffing a little. Pretty steep here. Looking over my shoulder to the left, I can see the lake through the trees as we still climb. an interesting sensation and pretty hot underneath my layer but it's cooling quickly on the outside
fish still rising. It's a little flatter now. Sonny's going under the log. I'm going over it. And we're rising again. I just heard a grouse. I saw it. You saw it? Oh. And here's quite the cache of what could be oyster mushrooms. I believe they are. Pick one. Let's check it. Let's see. Leo's checking it out. I think these are oyster mushrooms. They smell like oyster mushrooms. Do you want to pick some? Only enough to pick. They're not big enough is the problem. Yeah. I will leave them. Maybe we'll find some larger ones. I could take a picture. You should have your phone out too. I'll probably need to shed a layer. Me too. Well, when we get to the top of this rise, what do you say we yeah. have some water? There, I took a picture of them. And uh, shed a layer, get your phone handy. higher above us we're sort of doing a traverse right now you can see some pretty steep cliff coming up to our left oh yeah giant boulders locked together for millennia, most likely. Yeah, there's trees growing out of these boulders that are roots are you know, 20 feet over our heads, just stuck in the boulders, growing out of them.
big trees. We're continuing along the base of this ridge of, of very rough giant boulders. Right now we're walking through a really interesting channel of eroded, well actually it's a channel between two boulders that goes along for 20 feet with the trail down through it. Still passing blue trail marking. Blue round discs that say trail. White letters made of plastic. The nail through the middle. The old ones were made of aluminum. There's an old one right here. See? Made of aluminum. Now we're going back down, still with that ridge, and it's dropping with us to the left as we go downhill. I would say when we were at the apex of that trail, that traverse, probably the ridge was another the top of it was probably another hundred feet above us. Maybe not quite that much. Well, we said we were going to stop when we got to the top. Now we're over the top. Yeah. So we're going to rest here. Okay. I'll leave this running, but you got to help me with my pack. I'm going to check my battery too. So if you can lift this off my back and drop it behind me. Two hands. Thank you. Drop it again. So it's standing up and then I can check things out a little bit here. I've got my 
recording machine inside my backpack. Cable coming out. We're still recording? Well, that's always good. 49 minutes in. How are you holding up, Leo? Any hot spots no. in your shoes, good. boots? I enjoyed listening to you marry a little bit. Oh, good. And I had to put moleskin on. It looks not really, it's not really moleskin, but it, I guess, feels like it. And it's adhesive with felt on the outside adhered to it. So you put that adhesive directly on your hot spot and you're feeling a blister. And it, it's like another layer of skin to prevent the blister from uh, developing if you if you pay attention to the hot spots in time. So I'm having no problem today. I think you have the trail mix. Uh, well, let's start. No, you do. It's on your outside pocket. Anything I could sneak in your backpack, Leo, I did. Because you're only what? A third of my age? Oh, sorry. Of course you've got a piece of jerky. Here you go. Did you get a piece? I'll show you where we are on the map. We started over there. We could get in there on the island kind of thing. Yeah. Get on the island a little bit. Mm -hmm. and then we're on. That was the main base. So, yeah. We could get in there. Off the, line. the ridge is actually 2,200 feet high, and we're about yeah 2,200, and we were 2,160. So I don't know. We were 2,140. So not 100 feet above us, but more like 80. Chain ponds are to our uh, 
What? And we have a good ways to go to get down to Cascade Bay. Get your phone out? Whenever I eat jerky, I just want to know. I know. It's so hard. Stop. I know. It'll, it'll turn around the, 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 the least devoted vegetarian anyway. Come back to the dark side. Um, right. I mean, you can use this map if you like. Keep it handy. It just shows us the same thing. Actually, this has the trails we're actually using. So, go. we are we are here. And we're going to get on here. And then we're going to the quarter of the way. Yeah, so we're going to try to get the bat out of the way. You hear that? Is that Sounds like a peeper. Oh, I hear that. Fly a bird. You hear a motorboat or a... Maybe it could be a peeper. It, Wait, it could be a peeper. You hear peepers in the fall. Yeah, you do. I have. Often. Not lately, though. When you get a warm day like this... Yeah, I hear it with a peeper. They'll get up and start peeping singly. I don't know what they think is going on and what they're trying to do. Because why else would a peeper peep unless they would want to mate? It's not like they want a friend. I don't think they care about it. Yeah. It's a mystery. Okay, I'm going to slip this pack on while I'm sitting. Water? I'll have one more sip. Maybe you better get behind me and grab the mic pole. Yeah, why don't you have water first? Sonny, I'm on your level. This is good. Oh. This is a good little picture I was going to take of you. All right, might as well. There you are. Oh, good. classic. Classic sunshine picture. Okay. I'm getting up. You grab that. Yeah, please. Try to help. There you go. Strap, chest strap, cinch straps, good. Stick. Should be a lot lighter now that we ate that gorp and jerky. Water. Water. <laughs> Okay, staff up. Remind me to drink lots of water. Lead the way, tonight. Sonny. Okay. Before we eat. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine what that's going to be like. If we're going to be like sitting along the edge of a wet bog and that's as good as it'll be. Or if we'll find a Nice primitive campground with a dry flat spot to pitch our tent. I think Cosmic would probably like this, listening to this too. Oh good. I don't know, just an idea. Yeah, I'm trying to not talk too much but I kind of feel like for somebody like my mom 
who can't get out and hike anymore or some, some that never really did hike right. but likes the outdoors and maybe for somebody that never could um, get out I think some of the descriptions good I think there's people who just um, I think another group would be people who just like listening to like relaxing audio recordings in general like like all the rest of the stuff I don't know if I have the right voice for that I don't, I don't think I don't think you have the wrong voice for it uh -huh. Yeah, Dad, try to make your voice more ASMR. <laughs> what does that mean? I forgot what it stands for. It's like that thing where people have that response to like relaxing sounds. Uh huh. Have different ones. And there's a whole like pop-up industry of YouTube and other like, ASMR people on different platforms that like even some of them make a lot of money doing it. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, maybe I should take some lessons and just totally ruin this, right? Yeah. Well, I think it could. I think it could be accidentally ASMR to certain people. Just the sound of crunching leaves is enough. Yeah, I'm not sure how nice that is though when I trip. That might be where shock mounts could help. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see what that sounds like later. <laughs> well, this is certainly a nicer hike than when I left Chub Pond got down to the west mountain trail yeah um for a while it was okay i think at a certain point most people turned back because it became less and less marked to the point where i was crossing bogs on logs and wasn't really sure what was on the other side and searched for markers and had to turn back and Things like that were happening. And then the trail itself, here's another metal trail marker. The trail itself was just bad, you know, barely maintained because nobody goes that way. Now I wouldn't mind going back and doing it with you to get to Pigeon Lake because it's so remote, because they say it's one of the remote, most, the Adirondack, um, uh, Mountain Club book says it, it's one of the most remote areas, even this area, right? I don't know if we're technically in Pigeon Lakes Wilderness anymore, but the edge of it. But it's a remote for a reason. Nobody can get in there. And that's precisely why I'm determined to get there and do some audio recording where I'm not competing with motorboats, automobiles, because you'd be surprised how far that stuff can carry. Miles. The whole colony of rodents and Hmm? There's a whole colony of rodents that must live in these rocks. Really? There's so many holes. Yeah. Oh, now we're looking down on... What was that? Chain Lake? It was Chain Lake. Is that what I called it? You have that map handy? Yeah. So we're through the trees. Speaking of airplanes... Can't get away from them. Chain ponds. That's chain ponds through the trees. It looks beautiful and remote. Oh, I glimpsed that on the way in. No, wait, never mind. You're on the other side. 
other side of it. If at all. I'm walking past a hemlock that's, what do you think, two and a half feet wide? Diameter? Diameter, um, I'd say that's like a yard. Wow. And very tall. And very healthy. And we are in a grove. I want to say it's hemlock, but these down in, in the understory are spruce. And there's a birch, it's a silver birch. and more birch. I'll call it silver birch. I'll take a photo of one. It's a blue plastic marker on that one. Yep. wind's picking up a little. I hope it doesn't get too windy that I have to stop recording. My wind screens known as dead kittens are able to handle wind gusts that are going to be too much more than this. I guess I should explain dead kittens because they look like a Persian cat fur. And that breaks up the wind. It's a step above a foam mic screen that, that one might see in front of, uh, in a reporter's hand. Really nice trail here going along a ridge. It's not too uneven. Well, here it is but directly down below us, about 30 feet, is the chain pond. You can see it pretty well through the trees. Which are spruce and hemlock. It's a mix.
Well, I love it when you see these trees that have grown over a rock. And that's what we're looking at. Two trees that have grown their roots over a rock with such a minimal amount of soil. Uh, it's pretty amazing that they could sustain themselves. Eventually those roots go all the way over the rock, which is three feet high, down into the soil. Probably able to survive because it's at the mouth of the outlet of this chain lake. I think it's called Sucker Brook. I think I saw on the map. So they're standing in a little bit of water too, most of the time. You want to take a picture? Looks like an easy place to get out to the pond. Yeah. Standing where I am, I'm actually below pond level. Because we are at the edge of a beaver dam. I see. Are you going to go ahead and... Oh, well, you can leave it on. I've got a battery. It's a very old beaver dam. Yes. Maybe it's a very old beaver. And you can see how old it is. Look at those stumps that are out in the water. How decayed they are. They were cut many years ago by the beaver. And you can hear off to our left, you can hear the water. There's another outlet, and maybe the outlet I hear is really what Sucker Brook is. Might be something bigger than what we just saw. I think Leo's phone is turned on now. The nice lines are good. Okay, let's see what that sound is. Oh yeah, there's a very nice babbling brook here. I imagine it's a pretty roaring brook in the spring. But it is just below that beaver dam, so... The warning sign, you wouldn't want to just drink that water because beavers carry a, what, a bacteria? Yeah. Called Giardia, which would give you, make you violently, give you a violent stomach sickness, gastrointestinal sickness for several days, I understand. I was trying to think of an adage for Giardia? taking water near a beaver dam. Like, if there's beaver, uh, something. That's why they call it beaver fever.
pretty tree? Pretty sky. Looking up at the top of that branch up there with the white, you know, the bleached out dead branch way up there. I thought it was an eagle. Okay, Leo. Should we take the shortcut or go all the way around? Take the shortcut. You've earned it. <laughs> Sunny's going all the way around. And I'm back on the main trail. This wood is so soft that I'm scratching it off with my nails to make the handle a little better. Yeah, it's pine. But no doubt. Mm -hmm few trips it'll be pretty smooth again yep and the bottom of it gets um, beaten down faster than if it was hardwood yeah yeah, yeah I don't know why I picked pine just because it was so incredibly straight yeah that's why it just has no give to it and no weight to it Right. Even no a little bit more half would be nice. Yeah. But you know, last night when I was, when we were in the dark hiking, sometimes I think having a staff like that has an adverse effect to staying balanced because I was relying on it more. Yeah. And I think I was slipping more. Uh-huh. Yeah, kind of makes sense. I mean, I was really leaning on it. Today, no staff. No staff. And carrying this, I feel like a crusader. <laughs> I've, I've stumbled, but I haven't taken. I took two pretty good falls, I think, last night. Yeah. You did. But it was dark. We were hiking with headlamps just to get in. Get into the lean-to and get into the woods. The limited amount of time we have for this trip. Only two nights. There's a human footprint. Another going our direction. Looks like they went in and came back out. There's some mica. Look at that. Or, I mean, Where? quartz. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, that white quartz. Smoky quartz. Cool. Probably has a scientific a name that I've never known, but that's what I call it.
Oh, lots of pretty maple leaves. Deep reds. On the ground, underfoot. Now we're in just a pure beach stand. Sun coming through. The leaves on the trees are green, yellow, light green, yellow. And then brownish yellow on the ground, lots of them both on the ground and in the trees. Brilliant blue sky and sun shining right through at us. And just a wonderful smell of decaying leaves throughout this hike. I wonder if anybody has a, you know, well-developed olfactory that they could distinguish different types of leaves and know what stand of trees they're in just by the smell. Mm, maybe. I can't. But I love the smell. Isn't it amazing how orange everything just got? Do you see it? Yep. Yellow now it's orange. Like the sun is just augmenting it. Even though the sun's not orange. It's just what's on the ground reflecting. some up and down through some really small ridges going across them. Reminds me of terrain you get in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a trail marker. Windfall Pond 1.6, Chain Pond Queer Lake 1.5. So that's Chain Pond was 0.5 where we saw the pond through the trees. Windfall Pond, Big Moose Road is three miles from here. 
Let's remember that. Mm -hmm. 1.1 .1 cascade. Oh, you saw a sign for it. 1.1, 1 .1, eh? Yep. Okay. Thing is, I don't know how long it is to the falls. Yeah. We'll figure it out. It'll probably be marked. I did bring a copy of the map from the book, but not the book. But some of these details aren't with us. down here. Trail maintenance was done through here. Some deadfalls were cut through. Looks like probably, I don't know, five years ago. I gotta say, this is a really nice hike. Yeah. Really lovely. We'll be under a tree. Move down still. Here we go, We're approaching the bottom, I think. Really big boulder. Well, as big as, what would you say this is as big as this rock? Volkswagen Beetle. Well, a small Volkswagen Beetle. Maybe one you'd ride in on the midway. But just kind of sitting there next to the trail with a deep layer of moss growing over it. So by the way, we're on the red trail.
that we're in a wide kind of hollow. Uh, lots of really nice big trees. Oh, and look at that. That's straight. Must be a maple, right? Yep. Straight and tall. Two and a half feet wide. Leo fell back behind me a little, maybe took a picture. And turned back towards him. Meanwhile, look at this tree. So straight. It's unbelievable. I want to take a picture of it because it's probably a poor picture of it and it's definitely not going to give you the true I mean what you're looking at is a tree that has no limbs on it it's a fir tree of some sort and it just rises with it being two feet at the base and tapers ever so little Till it gets way up above us, maybe, what do you think, 70 feet? Yeah, sure. Well, and then the, then it has evergreen branches. So then it comes alive. And a little below that are dead, dead limbs. So it's just growing and dying back as it grows taller and taller. And it's just as straight as straight could be. closed up around us a little bit more here. It's not so wide and spread out. Between the trees, it's closer. trail maintenance there to cut cut a bunch of trees that were blocking the path same five ten years ago maybe that was hurricane sandy when was hurricane sandy 2013 um maybe I don't know. in the last seven years or so yeah Somewhere between 2013 and 2016. Oh no, yeah, it was definitely 13 then. Couldn't have been 16.
still very flat. And I can see water or an open area off to our right. I'm funny. That's probably the biggest gust of wind we've had yet. Walking under a very giant pair of hemlocks. That open area I could see is probably nothing more than a, a bog swamp. Seems drier here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. For a little while, it's been pretty dry. Yeah. Since we got to this side of the uh, that second little rise. Yeah. After we call the junction. Maybe it's just windier here, and it dried it out. In the sun. Yeah. We're, on the, we're more generally on the southern side of that little hill, I think. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was it was raining like a thick drizzle when we were driving into the Adirondacks. Not the whole way, but when we got in to the park, um, there's, there's Cascade Lake ahead of us. We got into the park, um, it was on and off from thick drizzle to rain, not real hard rain, and then light drizzle, mist. So everything was good and soaked. They're pretty much let up when we began our hike though. So we didn't need rain gear. Lucky. But when we got to camp, all the down trees that we could find were all wet. And we had brought a little bit of tinder and some wax tips, Q-tips. And out of a small piece of newspaper and a couple of those two tips we started a fire. Not too hard. Glad I did that though. Dipped them in wax. I'd never done that. I'll never leave without them.
kind of overgrown here. I gotta be careful with the mics. Lots of low beech trees, kind of very close to the trail. Babies. More silver birch. No. Plenty of their leaves on the floor. Dropping still down to the level of the lake, I think. Ground pine. I don't really know if it's ground pine. I'm going to take a picture of it. Ground pine, I thought, had little branches that grew outward more. Kind of prehistoric looking. And these, these just go straight up in little groups, clumps, or mats. It's all through the forest floor here. tired and my knees were going down pretty good my hunger is ravenous today yeah we can make some noodles yeah. some ramen Oh, saw her kind of winking. Maybe it hit her in the eye. You all right, Sonny? Yeah, I think it did hit her in the eye. She recoiled pretty hard. Uh-huh. Oh, things are leveling out now. Now that we're down at the bottom of that. Want to 
piece. Couldn't help it. Thank you. No. You gonna sell me some? walking on the flat creek crossing a little one plenty of rocks for walking on son was grabbing a drink on the fly good girl sonny go on you go ahead A little more. Good enough? All right, go on. Nice wide trail here. <clears throat> go on ahead, Sonny. Go. Free. Go. Good girl. I'm not sure you can stay back. Take a quick check on the map and see where we are. Oh, we are very much approaching the outlet of the lake itself. Where the Cascade is? Cascade Lake, no. I think the Cascade was at the outlet. Maybe it's the inlet. We're approaching the end that's the farthest from the cascade. Okay. Okay, here's a marker. Yeah, 
And uh, from here, the parking lot is 1.2 to Big Loose Road, but that's quite a ways from where our car is, you know, a couple miles, maybe, or a mile. So yeah, there we are at the lake and the trail. We either go this way, take a look. Look here. See here? Yep. There we are. We either go on the north side around that big bog and do all that. Or we go on the bottom side and stay uh, along the ridge. This way we're along the, the base and I think we'll get to see the lake. I vote north side. Yeah, me too. All right, let's take a break though. Let's go up and you know, what does the sign say here? It might tell you how far it is to the fall. It does not. Here's what we did. Uh, we're like landing, remember that? It's as far as I expected. 2.9. Is, is that a different way? I mean... No, that's the way we just came. We just went through Queer Lake Landing, it's the same sign. Really, yeah, I wonder it's, why. It's just now let's wall. go up here to this rise and... What did it say? Did it say anything <clears throat> other than Cascade Lake Trail? No distance marked, but it is still a red trail, and it's wide. It almost oh, looks like, like an I ATV. Like what? I like a wide trail, an old road. Yeah. I like that sometimes. Yeah, except when it was that trail yeah, not that. that went into Star Lake. That was, that was horrible. Rough. horrible. Parts of it were cool before it turned into horror. Yeah, continuously bad. Turned into um, a river. Or many small ponds. Yeah, deeply rutted. I don't know how any vehicles could even go in there at that point. I know, baffling. Okay, this looks like a nice spot. Be nice to see the pond. But let's take a break here. Okay. How about up here a little more? Here, give me a hand with my pack. Remember, I gotta use this. Oh. Oh. Hang on. I got it. You got it. Thank you. Look at, look at all the claw marks I put into that with my nails. Doesn't it look like it couldn't <laughs> have been possible? Yeah. I might want to take off away, or I never did. It's 3.02, so we're going to stop here. Okay. So we've had our lunch. We made a fire in my little tin can stove that I made with some directions I found on the internet and uh, it worked reasonably well once we found some dry twigs oh, if I can do this single-handedly yep okay and uh, we also ran into a, a couple that were just finishing their hike out to the um, cascade and it shows a couple pictures that looked really nice gave us a little information about a primitive campsite that actually has a outhouse up ahead that I think we're gonna test drive that we're gonna try yeah why don't you do it for me since I got this in my hand already all right And Sunny did not have any ramen because it was too spicy. So that was, uh, how long do we stop? It's 4.06 now, an hour, right? Was it about three? It was about, yeah. That's right. 
So it was about an hour, which could be expected given the fact that we had to make a fire and make soup. Yes. Sunshine, are you going to take that off? Hey, yeah, Sonny, why are you wearing your leash still? We had to put Sonny's leash on because the visitors that were hiking by, Sonny just wanted to jump up on everybody, both of them. The one woman did not like it. She no, she made not. that clear. She was very polite to Sunshine about it. Okay, and on with our crusade. Do you think we left anything behind? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Just some sticks. That's right. Sonny, you want to run on up ahead? So right now, the trail is just... It really is a jeep trail, I would say. Um, it's very wide and uh, very flat. It's in great shape. Could drive a jeep on it. But on the other hand, maybe it's a bridal trail. There's a big pile of oh, yeah. horse poop As you say that. that we just came across. Sometimes I'm frightened by that horse poop in particular. Maybe it was a giant bear poop, but I'm pretty sure it was horse. 100% horse. Yep. Well, want a larbor? At least half a one? Ooh, for sure. All right. For sure. Let's do it. Okay, here you go. It'd be worth figuring out how to make those at home. It's got to be easy. Five ingredients. You can make them better. Exactly. And it wouldn't be, wouldn't be that hard. Cashews. I'd put more lemon zest in it if I was mm -hmm. making it. Lemon zest, cashew butter. Beavers here. <laughs> is this um this is a spot? This is a spot. To camp? No, just a look. Oh. Yeah, we can now see the the lake we're hiking along it to our right. Lake. Hmm? It's a beautiful lake. Yeah. I've seen a lot of waterfalls this year. We're gonna see another one today. Hopefully. Yeah. Look at this. That could be bear poop. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. It's probably still horse poop. I forgot I forget the difference uh, between Different, well, I think bear poop looks kind of like dog poop, or human poop. Yeah. Yeah, we can walk all three abreast, if Sonny would only cooperate. Heal, Sonny. She has no interest. She's like, where's the stick? It's stick time. Well, just go find a stick, Sunshine. Why can't you find your own? Why am I the one that always has to pick the stick out? And then we jump high in the air. Yeah, almost as high as my head. You hear that snapping? <laughs> a little dynamo. Go get that. find a spot down in there. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm glad I told us there was an outhouse. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure I would know not to look down every little, um... Oh, it might be obvious if they could see it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm glad that they know they told us that it will be obvious. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this mighty white pine. Wow. Yeah. Here's another tree that's three feet across and 80 feet high. That's massive. Yeah, 80 feet high at the beginning of the branches. Maybe. Well, I think it's probably 100 feet tall. Yeah. It's very tall. I I'm always, a terrible judge. I always overestimate tree height and building height. Well, there's a picture of it, but again, it's, hard, it's gonna be hard to really tell. How many sunnies tall? <laughs> How many sunshines tall? Here's another massive, not quite as massive, white pine. Yeah. yeah. Two. Yep, three. Oh. It's a stand. But then over there, you have hemlock <coughs> along the water's edge. <coughs> yeah, a lot of these, like, they might be fishing spots too. People maybe come here and fish for trout. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sun, sun, sun. Just walking all along the shore. We're up about 20 feet above it. Maybe less. And about 40 feet off of it, through the trees, we have a nice view through the trees of the lake. And every now and then I'm seeing trees that have been chewed off, chewed down by beaver. And there's a, there's a, there's an old tree that's fallen across the trail and I don't see any sign that a vehicle ever ran over it. Yeah, I think that, well, I And I don't... I was just noticing that the path seems less wide here too. It's wide enough that it maybe was a logging road. That's what I it think. certainly is. It's been built, right? So yeah. if you look at this, yeah. it was a built road or a rail yeah. way. Which would be common that it would be along a a lake because the ground level is more level. Mm -hmm. one of the places it's easier to log. Well, it's easier to transport, oh. build a road. Yeah. Also easier to log, but I guess it hasn't been logged here. Oh, I'm sure it was logged here. Well, wow, look at that tree that's been totally chewed out by probably pileated woodpeckers. See the giant holes in it? Yeah. That big channel that yeah, big, big channels of pecked out uh, wood in that that's probably five inches wide by 
four feet long or three feet long and then other craters that are deep and large. Soup made me tired. Really? Yeah. Not me. It really perks me up actually. Wow. Yeah. I'll lie down and take a nap. It definitely relaxed me. We made ramen from a couple different packages that I had broken all up and put in a plastic bag to bring. Yeah, wow, somebody actually put a a drain pipe in that's above the surface now. A metal, corrugated metal drain pipe. Take a picture of this big boulder. Too. And a big boulder. Mm -hmm. It comes sunny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real easy going. This would be a great ski trail. I'm sure it's been used. We should try to come up here in the winter and ski around the lake. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Oh, I think I see the campsite. Gotta be. Gotta be. It's a park. There's the outhouse. Uh-huh. Yeah, we could have eaten lunch here, but that would have been too easy. Yeah. And look at the stubs of the trees there where the beavers have taken them down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a little surprising they didn't build a lean-to here. Maybe there was one at one point. Yeah, it seems like the the ideal spot. So it really is idyllic. Wow, it's really nice. Yeah. Well, it looks like this is going to be our spot tonight. Boy, you could have a large group of people yeah, here. Yeah, it's like we're at a campground. I do. It is like a campground. Well, look over there. There's a wall. A stone wall over there. Stone pile there. I know, but look over to the left. There's oh, a stone oh, wall. I feel like like I'm a retaining the, wall. I feel like I'm in the finger lakes or something. Yeah, this is wild. Wow. And it, the thing about it is, it's grassy, it's scattered hemlocks and white pines, and uh, it's very clean. Yeah. There's no garbage in the fire pit. There's, it's just really well respected. Yeah, I think this is where we should stay tonight. I just feel like there's so much room here. We should play. <laughs> I, know. I don't know what, but we should play. All right, well, here we are. I guess I'm going to shut the mics off for now.
and we're going to set up camp. Or we can we can quickly set up camp and then we'll check out the flume. How about that? Yeah. And maybe I'll keep taping and we'll go on to the flume and I'll carry my bag over my shoulder. Okay, I'm just gonna set that down there. Question is, where do we want to put the tent? It's like too many different spots that we could choose. I know. Well, wind could be a good, well, no, no, no matter where we put it, it's going to be windy. Maybe here, though, is the best spot. Okay, so we're at the campsite, and I'm going to stop. We're finishing. We set up our tent, which was a cinch. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of cinching going on. It is a lot of cinching. And just got a little snack. And we're back on our trail, heading for Cascade Falls. Right? Right. Well, we're not in the wilderness anymore. We've already run into that couple, and then a single person, and another couple with a dog. It's a very easy stroll down this wide path. Okay, so we're back on our hike. Sunny's running free. We probably won't see anyone else now because it's getting late. Yeah. It's, it's 5.42. This place is probably pretty popular on the weekends. Since it's a uh, mm -hmm. Tuesday, and we've seen five. It's another nice flat spot along the lake down there. Looks like you could camp there. In fact, there is a fireplace down there. A nice spot.
sun he just raced by. Yeah, this is what I consider ground pine. Mm -hmm. See, it's way different than that other stuff. Yeah. There's the other stuff. So one of them's ground pine and one of them's something else. Now here's a whole field of ferns that are totally brown and dead. The path is narrowing down to more of a, a foot trail than an ATV road. well above the the lake farther away now it's definitely narrowed down yep. I imagine we're getting close to the swamp someone told us about and now look over here there's a oh yeah it oh, looks like a fireplace in a corner so it's like the remnants of some kind of house Absolutely. but that's all you see just a few old blocks probably 150 years old now our trail is dropping down. I imagine we'll get down to the lake level. Cascade Pond or Lake? What is it? Lake. Lake. And that's because it has both an inlet and an outlet? Is that what makes a lake? Um, I've heard actually that there isn't really a fixed definition. Hmm. Somebody told me recently that that was the definition, and I looked it up, and they were not actually right. Ooh. Try to avoid those points. And that is a crow or a raven?
I'm sorry. We're just listening. Oh, he just flew overhead. That was the first bird I've seen or heard all day. Yeah. And we're dropping right down to lake level now. Very pretty with the light. Light shining on a little island or outcropping. And Sunny just chased a red squirrel up the tree. This is quite nice, right down along the lake. Let's see if we can take a picture of that little island with the sun on it. I'm going to give it a shot. You can too. Both have the same picture. Well, I don't want this tree in line, so I hope I'm not in your way. so hard to take a picture with one hand on a iPhone when your fingernail is what's touching the hard to do most things button. With hand on iPhone. Yeah. But you can't trigger your shutter with the tip of your finger. like spot where somebody might fish. It's kind of beaten down under these hemlocks. It's pretty shallow though. on the red trail. Now this trail goes right around the pond, the lake. Just stop to take a listen. It's 
one thing we haven't done a lot of today is just stopping and listening. I brought my headlamp. Oh, you won't need it. I guess not. This trail's so easy and flat. Where the trail is. Looks like the trail goes up here. That's why it's pointing up. Maybe that's the way through the swamp that guy was telling us about. Well, let's see where we are on the map. He didn't give us any details. But yeah, that would be about it. It'll save us a lot of, a lot of trouble. Let's yep. See if we can find. I think it's going to be down through here, but... Really? Not this way? Go ahead. Go know. ahead that way. I don't know he did it. Okay. What? Okay. Well, you can kind of tell by there's any damage to the logs that have been washed over. Well, we can try going down here. Seems like there would be a, a more beaten down path. And it does seem like it would be through here. Well, maybe it just isn't there yet, Leo, and we should... Uh, Continue on. Stay on the course.
They smell a bunk. You can see the swamp now. You're gonna try to go up to it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now this is a trail. This is a, a little crossing here. A little log. He was talking about a log, but I don't think that was it. <clears throat> We're definitely on the shortcut, though. Probably not something you could attempt in the spring when it's real wet. Yeah. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So far, said that before. I think if you would have told us, you would have been able to pass. Yeah, all he did was look at my shoes and say, yeah, you can make it. Yeah, and I looked at his shoes and the bottom of his blue jeans, which were dry. There you go. And honestly, I think that was the log he was talking about. Yeah. which is kind of funny because some of the logs we've had to cross oh, have been submerged and we've ended up submerged. Wow, what's all that garbage? Ahead of you. Oh, what is it? I can't make it out either. A whole bunch of stuff covered up. Could be a boat. You hear that owl? Oh yeah. Also deep pull here. Listen. Yeah, and I do hear that motor also. Bald owl and a motor. Oh yeah, look at that hole. I'm gonna step in there. What's under here? Building materials? Well, somebody's cache of... Lift this up. Wood. Wood. Why is there McDonald's ads on there? McCafe. Maybe they're going to build a McDonald's here in the middle of the... The woods. And there's the trail we would have picked the back up again. Oh wow. That's yep. That's Based the... on that angle, I'm glad we did what we did. Oh yeah, I saw it on the map and it was a big U. Yeah. A big squiggly U. uphill on another wide trail that could be for an ATV. We've gone around the end of the lake. Yeah, this is a, now marked as a cross-country ski trail.
sunny. Yeah, I would say probably a quarter mile or less till you get to the fall. Here, let's take a listen. Well, that's not the falls. We can hear the creek down below us. Must be the outlet of the lake. Look how what we're on is so built up. Yeah. It's a ridge. Oh, we're on it. We'll a, a road for sure again. Hmm? We're on a road again. Yeah, it seems like a road. It might be that, that that path that I thought was the path was actually the continuation of the old road. Hmm. In the meantime, we can get back up again. Well, this road may have followed a ridge line, but. It sure seems like they put a lot of work into it. Yeah. It's raised up so high. Flat. Heading down hill now through some tall pines, spruce. Bridge. All together, by the mud. <laughs> well, just go this way. I think we're following the, uh, the stream. The path. The path. Yeah. I think it's back in here. I see it. Wow. I can take a listen. Oh.
as it says. It's glorious for some reason. Oh, yeah. it's eating. Let's do it again. I'll be really still like we're taking a dog or dog or type or whatever. Okay, dog or oh speaking of dog. A dog or type. Never like those dog or type. Are you gonna do Yeah, I'm gonna eat my water dog. Is that another running? Oh yeah. Is it running? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got mine. Oh, it's really good. Sure. Let's eat it. Why not? I guess we can carry him. I'll take the rest of Good morning.
Yeah, the Incredible Journey or whatever. Yeah, the Incredible Journey, right? We love that. That's good. I think it was just a book then or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I thought the movie was based on a true story or something. Was the Hilarious. movie... Because there's, like, talking animals. <laughs> was the movie also called The Incredible Journey? No, it's called Homeward Bound. That was Homeward Bound. Okay. Mm. Probably the movie I watched the most when I was a certain age was that movie. All the time. All right, so now we're heading back. And, uh... Where are we? Oh yeah, this isn't quite the way we came, is it? Hmm. 